This is an overview of the search taxonomy capability in ArcDOS. We reach that by clicking on search and then taxonomy, which takes us to this screen. As you move from one of the fields to the next, you will see that on the right-hand side, the green box highlights what is in that field, what you should enter in order to get the data that you're looking for. And as you move through each one of these, it will move to that next type of term. Let's start at the top with the taxon name. That is the scientific name of any kind in the taxon table. If it comes up that it's not found, then it means it needs to be added to the Arctos taxon table. The taxon name type, there are four, cultural, Linnaean, mineral, and quarantine. And these are described very carefully in the name type code table. And if you take a look at that, you'll see what the explanation for each one of those is. The taxon term is either a term in the metadata or the classification, such as Animalia or Mollusca, or the name of an author such as Linnaeus. The term type is the rank of the taxon term, such as taxon status or class. The source of the classification can either be a local source or it can be a global source. If we take a look, Again, at our taxon table, we see that there are 14 local sources currently being used in Arctos to determine the classification of catalog records. And lastly is the common name. For example, we can search for the American Robin. And we will find that there are three scientific names that have been linked to the American Robin, or we could look for the garden snail. And again, we would find that this scientific name has been linked to that common name. Searching for a taxon name, normally you'll begin in the upper field and you can look either for an exact name or you can look for anything that contains the name. For example, we can search for the scientific name Cypria tigris. And we find that we have a number of the species and subspecies. If we click on show metadata, that will show us whether or not local sources have classifications. And in each of these cases, both Arctos and worms via Arctos have a classification for that particular scientific name. If we want to look at all of the Cypria, we can simply take off and look just for that and we find 993 names. And the metadata will only show for the first 25 of those. If there is no metadata at all for one of these names, and I see one here, for example, that means that there has been no classification created for that. So if that's a taxon name that you need to use in your collection, you will need to add a classification to it. We can also say that we want to find everything that contains the, that string. And if we do that by placing a percent sign in front of that, we're going to get over 1,000 names because we're going to now get that string within various genera as well as species names. If we want to know which of the Cypria have a classification in worms via Arctos, we can limit it to just that source and we will reduce the number of taxon names to 693. Additionally, if we want to know which ones of those have a taxon status of valid, by doing that search, we break it down to only 12. So this is, can be a very helpful uh, taxon search feature. If we wanted to, we could also say that we only want to know those that were um, authored by Linnaeus. And if we were to enter that, we would find in our calories that we have 53. So all of these various approaches can be used to limit the search to exactly what we're looking for. Additionally, we can also look for those things that are cultural, mineral, and of other types. And so if we wanted to look in our cultural terms for a parka, we will find that right there. We can also search and in this case, we'll limit it to a mineral. 
and we will find all of those things that have been entered in as quartz in, um, in the mineral category. If we want to, we can look at all of those names that are currently in quarantine because it's just a few, it's only 34 names right now. And for the most part, these are historic names that are no longer considered to be valid. In some cases, they're misspellings. We would like to avoid having them used as identifications because they are not only just invalid, but they're really not something that we want to have be in our taxonomic database, but there is a historic basis for them. So in this case, we have quarantined the name in order to uh, alert anyone who tries to use it as an identification that it is an invalid name. And that's a brief overview of the taxonomy search tool in Arctos.